does the idea of eternity and heaven and hell play a part in like your faith walk? Ian, does that play a part? That kind of uh, eternal idea of, around salvation. Well, it does um, to an extent. Yes. So I'm certainly looking forward to to, to being with Jesus and mm. to being with heaven in heaven mm. to no longer having asthma. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, Phenomenal. And, yeah. And, yeah. All all those kind of things <laughs> and. and you know, seeing what the whole book of Revelation comes out looking yeah, yeah, looking yeah. like. Yeah. So there's certainly that element of it, mm. although my wife and I, this is another teaching point really, to discuss some of the time, but <laughs> yeah. you know, we're not, the, the Bible talks about a new heaven and a new earth. Yes, yeah. So it's not just going to be in, in heaven. And yeah, my yeah. wife's got her checklist of everything she wants in heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, New house, yeah, then, yeah, gold-plated then, car, yeah. breathing so, underwater. So, so when she's reading it, I'm like, and, and what about the new earth? What, yeah, do, you yeah, down, yeah, what do you want down here? Yeah. So that is important, mm. really important. I'm, I'm glad that's where I'm going to be based, even if I get sent out somewhere else <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, along, <laughs> along the way. But it's, it, as much as anything, it's, it's implications for here and now. Mm. So we often used to, to say to people, you know, if you died tonight and you stood before... Um, God, and he said, why, would, why should I let you into my heaven? Mm. What would you say? And, and really the issue isn't always just about the future. If you died, what would you say to us? It's, it's about now, mm. how, how that salvation affects our lives mm. here and now as well yeah, and yeah. the change. Mm. And I mean, for me, the, I, the trajectory of my life when I put my faith in Jesus is just, just unthinkable. Mm. Uh, where I was heading mm. then... Yeah. Certainly, had no thoughts of doing the kind of thing I've been able to do mm. along along the years. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I would probably have been dead by the time I was thirty. Mm. Yeah, well, from something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at you here with us, yeah, surviving, looking, kicking, looking amazing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. good as ever. This is a real theological question, but do you think you'll be able to take tattoos to heaven? That's that is <laughs> the main thing. That, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. We want to know: Can you get tattoos in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Ian's so. like, I hope so. You look at like, I maybe, don't want to say that. When I'm on the new earth, maybe the, the new yeah, earth, exactly. you know, the There's new earth, you'll be able to have... all things coming to work. Yeah, together, you know? you've got to get maybe new artwork every have, day, you maybe, know. Maybe I can wait till then, maybe because there's no pain. There's no pain as well. So I can no. then just get my back tattoo finally, because yeah. whilst there is pain here, yeah. I will abstain. Yeah. I think I will, yeah. 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 So there is one translation of the Bible that says that Jesus has our names tattooed on the palms of his hands. Yeah. Oh, wow. So maybe there'll be, maybe we'll, we'll be able to have some tattoos in heaven and not others. That'd be great. That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chanel, is there like, um, do you in your faith walk, like the, the eternal kind of ramifications of salvation, do they play a big part in your life? I wouldn't say they play a biggest part because I'm more of a person that I, I want to focus on the now, I want to focus on my relationship with God and mm -hmm. just kind of, evangelizing the gospel mm. and I think the reason why is because how can I explain it I think the idea of a religion has really put me off that with mm. like growing up with the signs of like aunties being like you're going to hell <laughs> oh go to hell and everything I think that's really put me off of like especially when I evangelize especially when I do my bible study and have my own private time with God mm. I'm really focused on the now and how I can spread the gospel mm. and not just focusing on heaven or if mm. I'm going to heaven or hell mm. because I find that if I personally focus on that, I get blinded. I'm like, oh my gosh, I only care about um, praying to God if I get to heaven. And then it, it doesn't become the same. Mm -hmm. I just use God as a one-way ticket to heaven. Mm -hmm. And that's not yeah. a relationship with God I want to have. Mm -hmm. So I'm always thinking about the now and I'm like, Lord, I want to love you, Lord. Let me understand your words. Let me find new versions. Let me find new translations that I can understand you and just have a deeper relationship. Mm -hmm. So... Of course, I'm excited to get to heaven and yeah. out of here. No, 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 no. This earth is not it for me. But that's not my main focus when yeah. I'm like praying to God and everything. It's just to get to heaven because then I'm like, 
I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, one ticket to heaven, please. Thank you. This is mm, what I've been waiting yeah. for. No, it's a relationship. Yeah. And that's what I love about Jesus, is that it's a relationship and I don't have to do it alone. Mm. And I don't have to do it in one place. It's not every time on a Sunday, that's the only time I can speak to God. I can speak to God when I'm in bed, in the shower, walking on the road. I'm like, hi, Jesus. People think I'm crazy. But <laughs> do you know what? It's worth it. Mm, it's yeah. worth it. Put your headphones in. Yeah, hi, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's this ongoing yeah. dynamic yeah. Yeah, mm. thing that is affecting the here and present. And yes, we look for, like you were saying, we look forward to this union, this like reconnection with the divine. But it's not completely, it's not only that, it's not only a ticket, it's actually yeah. an engagement in this dynamic, kind of all encompassing relationship. I think in Matthew 4 17, this is, uh, it says, from the time Jesus began preaching, he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And I feel like just as the kingdom of heaven is at hand, hell is present in right now for people too. Yeah. You know, just as it is this destinational place, people can be existing in places that are in separation, yeah. that is yeah. in suffering yeah. and in pain. Absolutely. And we can make decisions every day that put us on the trajectory, that line to experiencing hell in the now, yeah. just as well as the the a place of eternal separation. There is a place of current separation. And just as that, my daily decisions can actually lead me into moments of hell, yeah. which, which is pain and actually separation. Yeah. So I think it's made, it's supercharged me growing up in a context that was really focused on the destination yeah. to actually be like, how am I journeying? Yeah. Because yeah. how am I actually yeah. journeying yeah. daily yeah. to to become more Christ-like and to experience that heaven that is yeah. accessible you know, to me right now? Yeah.